Yes! Hello there, unfortunate audience. My name is Oliterio, and today we're taking a brief view at Ma Super Mario 60. No, Super Mario 3D All Stars. We're gonna be taking a, a view at all three games. We're not gonna play much of them, but we're just gonna play them for a bit to see what sort of improvements are made in this game, and also just to revisit some old memories. Hey, Mario. I fucking love that. Hello. Oh, the nostalgia. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go with Mario B since this technically this is not a playthrough. This is a brief view that we're gonna be doing of these games. Because I wanna revisit Mario Galaxy first of all. And second of all, I wanna see exactly what was done in these games. I just wanna get get like a short view, you know. Look around for a bit, see how these games play. And so far so good. I I also wanna give a bit of a history of these games. Super Mario 64 is one of my favorite games of all time, along with Mario Galaxy and Kirby Superstar Ultra, purely because Kirby Superstar Ultra was one of the first games I've ever played, and this is one of the first games I've ever sped run. Believe it or not, I used to be very, very good at speedrunning this game. I don't have the skills anymore because I haven't played this game in so damn long, but hey, I don't care. Ah, yes, the nostalgia. Dude, I have so many memories of this game. When I first played this game, I first played this game, I believe, like, I don't exactly know when, but I first played this game as a kid. Very obvious, I know, but this is the first time I'm officially playing this game. First time I'm officially playing Mario 64, and in the technically, technically, the best version of this game. <laughs> because it is up -rezzed. all the textures, I believe, are up -rezzed. and, uh... It has full analog controls, <laughs> and uh, I think Mario Galaxy is the game that got optimized, but who knows. Anyways, this, I, f I consider this to be the best version. While you're smack in the middle of the battlefield, you'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. Blah 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 blah, nobody cares. You can talk to bomb bombs, but oh god, I have to sh <laughs> I have so many fond memories of this game. Mainly because I sped run this game so much, but... Uh, what I- this game I no longer play anymore, or at least not as much as I used to- well actually, I haven't played this game in ages. Very evident because of how the way- uh, the way I play right now, but, uh, I haven't played this game in absolute decades, but, uh. I now use this game for, like, the Gmod shorts, because it's actually very, uh, it's, you know, it's a very easy game to green screen, basically. Ev uh, and also, Another YouTuber did it, and I thought it was cool, so I did it. <laughs> that's basically my life! Hey, this YouTuber's doing this whole YouTube thing. I think that's cool. I'm gonna go do it. And I immediately do it. Uh, yeah, so many memories. I remember when I first played this game. Actually, uh, when I first played this game, it was the DS version. And I technically beat the game. I did use a cheating device at one point in time. I don't know when, but I did use one. And, uh, what's funny was I had gotten mad at the game, and, uh, I don't like admitting this because I hate it, but I, it was a DS version of this game. I was at school, and I gave it away to a friend. I no longer talked to this friend, nor know what, was, what his name was, so, uh, basically I gave it to a random stranger, and, uh, now I regret that because that game was really freaking good. Besides not having analog control, but that didn't really matter for me. I now regret doing that. But besides that, when I first played this game, it was back when I was very, like, curious about everything. I was like, hey, what's this? What's that? What's that made out of? What's the point of this? What's the story behind that? What I mean by that is I literally question everything. <laughs> I'd question everything that it was in a game, so... One of the things I think I questioned was, uh... What are all these doors? What was- what's- what's this middle platform there? Why is there coins? Who am I playing as? The fuck's this cloud looking at? Why do I exist? What's the point of life? I'm going to die. Oh boy. Existential crisis. Midlife crisis. Oh uh, yeah. Nowadays, I don't question anything because why freaking bother, but... OOF! <laughs> I do not remember that being so easy to hit. Ow. But yeah. 
I remember, so some of my early memories of this game were me playing it, me being really confused to the level design, mainly because I was new to 3D platformers. Mario 64 was one of the first 3D platformers I've ever played. And boy, what a platformer to start with, am I right? Definitely a good freaking pick for this. Uh, definitely a good first pick. I say one of the first 3D platformers because I'm not really 100% sure which one, which game was my first 3D platformer, but this is definitely one of the first ones I ever played. Uh, by a long shot, this is definitely one of the first ones. I think another 3D platformer I played was Ocarina of Time 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ocarina of Time 3D. Ow! Again with that. God damn it. Alright, so one of the strategies I remember people doing was... Ow. Oof. Alright, I might as well com uh, I might as well go commit... Die. Now, what is my fastest record of this game? Not very fast. I remember at one point in time, I could jump up on top of the castle uh, at the very beginning of the game. I can no longer do it because I forgot the strategy you need to do so to do it, but I once was able to reach the very highest of the heavens. But, uh, yeah. Actually, a lot of my memories stem from the 3DS version of this game. Like how I did the slide game. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I got a very interesting story. More interesting than the stupid slide story. Uh, slide story was something like, oh, I used to play the slide and it was fun, I guess. But, uh, an interesting story. I used to roleplay in this game. I'd make up my own stories and just run around the hub worlds and the levels playing the game. Like for example, in Bomb Bomb Battlefield, you can use the wing cap to fly around. So one of my favorite things to do as a kid would be get the wing cap and then start like flying around and then land in a random location and then be like, all right, mission objective, get to this area in this amount of time. And that's what I did for fun as a kid. Made up all my own missions. Because this is one of the few games I play- I- I had. I now- nowadays, I have like a billion games I could play on the dime. I could play freaking Shovel Knight with all the campaigns, by the way. All the campaigns I have. Because I bought the Switch version. And, uh, funny story. Uh, out of nowhere, it- it gave me all the campaigns. Every single one of them. I have every one of them. Yeah, I didn't know- I didn't- nice! But I was not aware that it came fully packaged just all the levels. But yeah, now back in the day, I had barely any games, and I, ha I was limited to only a few games. And this is when I back when I still had like the original 3DS. I still have it. I granted, I still have it. It's in fact, I'm right next to the drawer that has it. I can literally pull it out right now, but I rather not because it's disgusting. Because. Well, I don't know. It's, I don't know how it got that bad, but it's really disgusting. It's got like grime and dust on it, and the cartridge slot is filled with tears. Yeah, it sucks, but what, what are you going to do? It's not like I can clean it. <laughs> I have a new Nintendo 3DS XL, all right? If I want to clean, if I want to play an old school game on something, I'll play it on that. I used to, I used to own an original DS. I used to own one. I don't know what happened to it, but I, I used to own one. I don't have it anymore. I think I played Mario, t uh, this game on it too. And I used to own New Super Mario Brothers for the DS too. I also don't know what happened to that one. But yeah, I used to, I didn't have a lot of games, so I'd make up stories about this game. And I remember one time I was racing Koopa the Quick, I didn't touch the flagpole, and uh, he got up there first, and I got mad that he won because I didn't touch the flagpole. So I didn't count that I got up there. Yeah, anyways. Time to move on from a game. And I believe we can... From here we can go... Yeah, return to title selection. Don't worry, I saved my game. So yeah, now we're moving on to Mario Sunshine. Which got the HD treatment, as in it got upscaled. I think it's now like widescreen. Of course, they would never widescreen Super Mario 64. Because why would they? But anyways. History about this game. Uh... I remember seeing a GameCube and a friend playing this, and I asked to play it, and they didn't let me, so fuck you. <laughs> and, uh, I played this on an emulator with, uh, my friends, and I did a let's play- Well, I wouldn't call it a fucking let's play, but I did a play of this game on my channel. 
Would not recommend watching it. I got really mad on one stage. And that's basically it. it I'm, I only... I only sometimes go back to the to those old videos if I want to see myself get pissed off at the, at a certain level in this game. Yeah. Oh god, this cutscene. Uh, I first heard of this game through a YouTuber called Some Call Me Johnny. A very great YouTuber. He does reviews of games. Not very, pre not very like. Of course, due to the thing that everyone has, uh, is not as uploady as. I'd want it to be, but he did a review of this game, and <laughs> what the oh, that's just a transparent black shadow. That shadow. Shut up! I'm thinking of food, bitch. Shut up! I thought you had Stockholm syndrome. What are you talking? Oh, this game got the HD treatment, and not. You can see a lot of the JPEGs used for the clouds and the muddy textures. Oh god. Uh, you know, I'm not complaining though. This game is really good. So, Mario Sunshine. Oh god, it's just as freaking sensitive, sensitive as I remember it being. I really hate how sensitive this game is. But yeah, I, I learned a game through Some Call Me Johnny and then I played it and I finished it, but I did not like certain parts of it. Mainly how sensitive the controls were, and I was not my PC was not powerful enough to run the game, so it was very choppy. Granted, it is choppy as we speak, but at that point, it's more so the game itself. It cannot be me at this point. Shut up, Todd! <laughs> Shut up, Todd Zwerf! I mean, if I teach you sit up, I have a migraine. <laughs> a really big one. What the fuck was that sound? I just heard purring from coming from my PC. I'm very scared now. Is it gonna blow up? Master Mario. <laughs> ah, yes. The infamous line. Alright. Time to see how this game controls. Be careful, I'm about feeling all this. It's a tub. I will say, the HD treatment does look rather weird on this game. Not gonna lie, the heat wave effect, a lot different than what I remember it being. But controls wise, yeah, it's still as, uh, it's still as oversensitive and stupid as usual. Wait, that's a normal transition for that? Weird! So, uh... What I, what I just showed you... This is the game running... On the Nintendo Switch. So this is the best running version of this game. Why does that look so ch... Why does that look so choppy to me? Weird. Okay, who cares? Uh, let's go talk to Flood, because that's what we need to do. And this guy's pissed off because he's a Democrat or whatever. I don't know, Republican? <laughs> political parties! Oh boy, time to gang up on Alterio because he doesn't know what a fucking political party is. Alright, everybody, get that motherfucker! Oh boy. But they're not to put me as fat! Oh look, Super Mario 64 in the bottom left corner! I forgot to mention, why did they take out so long Gay Bowser in Super Mario 64? I hate that. Now we have bye bye. <laughs> Bowser's bye now, but hey, I prefer so long, gay Bowser. <laughs> so long, gay Bowser. I'm pretty sure they updated the text. If you press the button, you can stop and shoot. You can press V button to shoot. Yeah, they completely removed it because some of the buttons changed. Damn, so that's how they got around the issues of the controls being different. I was wondering, how are they gonna, how are they gonna like implement the new controls? Cause, what we know now, they literally just freaking. Damn. 
So they literally just took out the text saying use the other buttons. Try washing that M off with your skills. Alright. I'll wash it off. For you. Oh god. Okay, so. I forgot that these controls are inverted for whatever insane reason. The man man who programmed this game. I wish you a painful fucking death. Why? <laughs> Why invert it? Uh, I forget how to do it. Okay, there you go. That's how you do it. Ah, so. Mario Sunshine. Controls the same as you'd expect it to be. It's not very different at all. It's... It's, uh, basically the same as the previous game. It's a little bit different, as in now you have two different modes completely. Sort of like in the... Mario... Super Mario 3D World. Or was it Land? The one for the DS. No, the one for the Wii U. Both of them. <laughs> you have two different modes. If you hold down R, you move it. You hold... You... S you, like, uh... Stay and shoot. You, like... Aim it, but if you don't, if you hold down ZR, then you just shoot and move. Very confusing, I know. I explained that way worse in the tutorial. <laughs> I hope I never become a tutorial because then I won't be able to explain this. Ah, yes, the infamous Shine Sprite. I'm planning to 100% all the games if I were to ever do Let's Plays on these because I really want to 100% them. These seem like fun games to 100%, except Mario Sunshine. I don't know why, but I just get the feeling I'd hate this game every single step of the way. I don't know, I just get the feeling. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Um, well, I say the size of your dick is unusual. Very small. Nah, really? Let me use my eyes, damn it. Oh boy, Mario, fuck it up now. Mario's innocent! All those murders weren't me! Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, Where's my lawyer? I want a fair trial! Using some paint -like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed. What the hell? What is your evidence? Other than that we look similar, you've got nothing! You lose! I knew the justice system was fucking rigged! Fuck you! It's quite obvious this horrible graffiti is to blame. This horrible gravity is to blame. Based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Super Mario! You can't just overrule an objection like that if you don't know what the objection is. Or like, this is so unfair. This violates every law. Mario doesn't have a lawyer. He doesn't have a chance to speak. There was no evidence piled against him other than they look similar, which is not like it's not like grounded evidence. That's not good enough. I don't care. I don't care. You stupid shit. I will say, my memories of Sunshine are a bit fuzzy because I didn't play it much. Compared to Mario 64 and Galaxy, yeah, no, this game barely played. I really, I just, I don't know, man. It's not, I don't find, I don't see what everyone else sees in it. Maybe it's just me, but maybe it's just the aesthetic and the fact that I don't like heat, desert-based aesthetics or anything having to do with tropical environments. I just find them boring. But, uh, yeah, no, I just, I just, I, I don't see the magic in this game. Even when I beat this game and played it non-stop, I still didn't see the magic. It's a good game, no doubt. I'm not saying this game is shit. Definitely not. This game is, um, it's a quality Mario platformer. But it is not my version of a, what I'd consider a quality, it's not my favorite Mario platformer like it is for others. I grew up playing 64 in Galaxy. This game? This is like my second, maybe third time playing this game in f forever in my entire life. 
possibly. Yeah, this. <laughs> Needless to say, I do not play this game often. But, uh, yeah, no, we don't have. We literally just ran out of time. We literally just ran out of time because we're actually over time for this one. Now we're gonna go to my favorite game of all time. The game that literally made me a Mario fan. Besides Mario 64. Mario 64 introduced me to the game. And Mario DS 64 introduced me to Mario. This game is my favorite game of all time. This game? Oh. Ah. Oh. Wait. Ah. Oh. This game? is my favorite Mario game ever. Yes. We can only choose from these guys? This sucks. Yeah, Yoshi, Mario, and Peach. It's a me, Mario. Yes, because I got nobody else to use. Freaking sucks. This game is the game that made me love Mario. And this series, I have no player too. My friends, my my friends don't know where I live, which is a good and bad thing. Oh, this music is so nostalgic. <laughs> Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large, one year it filled the sky, sent down countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became great power star, where they became a great power star. They sh it should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. I fucking love- Oh my god! You do not know what this means to me. From Peach! Oh, look at my boy Mario! <laughs> Whoa! It's a me, a Mario! Oh, so many memories. So many memories! Don't tell me I have to sh- Oh, that's right, I can't- I can't do a spin attack yet. Oh, uh, but- Dude! Dude! The castle is down this path! You can't miss it! Oh, look at this. Oh, I remember when I first played this game. I just ran around, and I got up here, and I just looked at this marvelous view, and I was like, Oh damn! And then I, I, I then I then I freaking moved the corner. By far, out of all the Mario games ever in the world, this is the one I have the most vivid memories about. Dude, I remember getting to this section and being like, I love this game. Everyone's grabbing all the star bits as they can. <laughs> I cannot do a very good voice uh, toad impression, but damn it, I try. <laughs> uh I remember when I had a Wii mote. I remember when I had a Wii. Evening to you. <laughs> Oh god, so many memories. Oh no! I remember when I first saw this cutscene, I was like, Whoa. What is happening? Oh god. Very vivid memories of this game. Holy shit! Everyone's dying! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Look at them textures, boy. Dude, I remember this cutscene so well. I cannot express the emotions running through me right now. Happiness, excitement, nostalgia, a giant dose of nostalgia, like, freaking so much nostalgia, I can overdose on it. Ah, oh, I've had so many memories of this game. I don't even know how to explain it, this is just so fucking great to me. I remember Bowser in this scene. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to creation of my new galaxy. This game was intense, dude. This is fucking Mario Galaxy. We ain't no Mushroom Kingdom. This festival's over. Dude, this is like the most insane Mario game ever made. It's dramatic. It's intense, it's big, it's awesome. Look at this, I can't move the camera around. It's Bowser! What should we do? How could this happen? P panic and, panic and fear, panic and fear! Festival's ruined! Stay calm everyone! Oh 
Oh god, I remember this. I remember this so much. Oh, I remember the toads being trapped in ice and me being like, holy shit! What's happening? Everyone's dying! My mushroom kingdom! I remember running up this hill, because I thought I could get to the castle if I did this this way. Oh, you can sort of run around around here. You can even- This is exactly like Mario 64. You can take over here, the nice long jog. Yeah, this is Mario 64's castle. Nice. That's that weird. I don't think this is how Mario's supposed to react to the water behind him, but hey. Who knows? Maybe I just don't know how water works in real life. I like how you can see the edges of the map. This was on the Wii, guys. It wasn't as power. It wasn't. It was on the same power scale as the as the uh, GameCube. So uh, it's not insane. It's not insanely graphically cool, but it's not like terrible either. It could run things a little bit better. I believe it was. Oh, this fucking song, dude! I remember as a kid, I saw Mario on this bridge, and I was like, D "Whoa!" Hold oh, no, Mario! You gotta save Princess Peach! Come on! You can't give up now, Mario! You know how I told you guys that I used to play Mario 64 in roleplay? I did the same to this game, except 20 bazillion times more. This is my most fondly remembered game ever. A princess! I'll save you! I remember watching this cutscene and being like, Whoa, Jesus Christ. This is a very small earth, by the way. Princess! I'll save you! Mario! I remember making fun of that line so much. Holy shit! Who is this guy? So long, enjoy your flight! I remember this so well, I was like, BOOSH! Bye bye! Oh, the memories in this game. Oh, the memories in this game! Hello? I remember this cutscene, I was like, this is nice. By the way, I just want to say, I know Mario Galaxy 2 was a thing, but I never bought it for my Wii because I thought you needed, like, the Wii U to play it. So, yeah, that was a mistake by me. Yeah. So, you're finally awake. Let's play! You know what bunnies- you know what- you know what I say, bunnies love to fucking fuck. Bunnies love to fucking fuck. Hello! Get over here! Come on, you big monkey! What the? Three of you? Let's play hide and seek! If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Hey, I kidnapped you, and uh... So I kidnapped you, and uh... Freaking... Yeah, but uh... If you, if you capture all of us, I'll tell you where we kidnapped you, and where we put you when we kidnapped you. Yeah, fun, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, he's over there. He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. Buddy, 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 let me fuck you up! Let me fuck you up! Come on, you big monkey! Why you run away from me? You caught me! Yeah, I remember this. Very basic first level. Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. Yeah, I know, I know. You all should have hidden in the crater. I remember jumping around this place and being like, Look at me! Oh. Look at me! I'm in a galaxy! <laughs> oh, this is, Mar this is the best Mario game ever. Yeah, I remember that shit too, that bubble thing right there. I used to fall off the Comet Observatory so damn much, and that bubble used to save my ass so damn much. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Get the fucked! Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. What? 
There's a mama? Oh, yeah. Nostalgia fills my soul. Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There's a connection here to the deep space, far from your lands. We call it the gateway to the starry sky. Weird. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. All right, I will. Uh, I remember when I had a Wiimote, I used, like, it was so surreal having a Wiimote and playing this game. You can't do a side flip for whatever reason. That's not allowed in this game, apparently. Dude, I remember when I owned a Wiimote, and then one day my Wii sensor bar broke, and I was so sad. Oh, yes. Ah, I've been waiting. You from I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. I know. I ta I I heard. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Why are you so big? Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with this care. Ah, so that rabbit had guy dick. <laughs> I remember this. You have the ability to spin shake, or you can also spin with Y. Yeah, they added the Y part, because... Yeah. Disaster has struck with us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rest through the grand stars. Many of the stars... May the stars shine down on you. I'm re I'm misreading everything. I'm misreading my own freaking like, words. Everything's turning terrible around here. Yeah, so... I remember in the Wii game, I used to shake it so freaking viciously, but now I don't have to because I can just press Y. You can even spin enemies to stun them. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> and then you, and then you get inside here and boosh! Ah, uh, the memories—they're <laughs> all flying back to me. Ah, yes, the first galaxy. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but the meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all those star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Yeah, I remember. I, I, I died at least, like, once to this black hole. I died at least once to all the black holes in this game. I remember looking at those things and being like, Those don't look like Goombas. What are they? You earned an additional Mario. Hey, yeah, thanks. I, I don't know why I didn't know. I, I, like, I didn't know what these things were. They didn't. I was like, are they Goombas? They can't be because there's two types of Goombas in this game. Yeah, I think they have an official name, but I don't know them. They're, they're not Goombas, though. I figured that out. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely not freaking Goombas. This ain't my Goomba. Uh, let's see what... Yeah, I'm never spinning the controller in this game, ever. I have way better things to do. Yeah, there, over there. Did you see that freaking thing? I was like, that w that's what made me realize that these are not Goombas. I was like, what are these things? And I never figured out. Dude, when I first figured out that you could hit that thing as a kid, I was like, Whoa, I just discovered something on my own. And it was the greatest moment of all time. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have a key. You can shake and press Y to spin around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Ah. So you can spin and then bloosh. <laughs> Fuck you. Get on, son. Fuck you. Suck my meatballs in the Mario penis! <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> I'd like to talk to you. Thanks! Would you mind rescuing my buddy in the base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump on me after I transform! Oh my god. This was my childhood. This game was my childhood. A hundred percent. This game was so my childhood. By the way, if you spin and then immediately hit the ground pound button immediately after, you do this cool homing attack ground pound. It is so cool. It's like the homing attack in Sonic, except it's actually good and reliable to use. <laughs> Ow. So the, and the game just dissed me for that and just hit me. It just said, you know what, if you're gonna diss Sonic like that, I might as well give you a hit. Game, I'm sorry, please, just let me make fun of Sonic. You know what? Actually, never mind. I don't have to make fun of Sonic. Sega will do it for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to make fun of Sonic a lot if you haven't realized. Hurry! Down here! I remember getting down here and I was like, what? what's down here? And then I got down here and I was like, whoa! 
We've been waiting for you. Have you? That's a grand star. We have to save it. Basically, my reactions as a kid was, Whoa, what? Oh, damn. <laughs> They're using the grand star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the grand star's powers is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. There's no time limit. Don't worry. Ow. I will tell you right now, I didn't think there was a time limit as a kid because I didn't read. Like, I seriously did not read anything. I just sort of went on with the game and didn't pay attention to whatever anything had to say. Oh, God. My head right now. I feel so lightheaded because of how, how freaking weird it is to play a game like this after so many years. Uh, I will. I, hopefully, I will not have nightmares of this game. God knows I've had so many. What the? Ow. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Uh, turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut this machine. Okie dokie. Watch me go. Yahoo! Yahoo! Hot murder before I finish. That is a grand star. I remember when I first got this star, I was like, It's golden! I love gold! And then I went and replayed this level and it wasn't golden anymore. And I was like, now I just feel sad. <laughs> I will say though, this is one of the uh, games that I barely beat and took me like a year to beat purely because I sucked at games. The Common Observatory. Before we end off this episode, I have to, I have to show off just how much I remember of this place. Oh God. There's three different themes that can play in the Common Observatory, and they all depend on how powered up that little core in the center is but anyways welcome to the hub world also called the common observatory as I've said like 20,000 times you see that shit right there does that look familiar to got to you guys hmm reminds me of the thousand year door ah oh, yes high score updated and then you'd get your star bits which get uh which get transferred into there discovered a new galaxy yeah and then it tell you where you discovered a new galaxy that's nice yeah, and then you talk to Rosalina sometimes, and maybe Luigi at some point. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a sick classic star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the grand star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years. But we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had lashed onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship has had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up uh, the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Yeah, Bowser's basically God now. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses power stars to protect images, I mean project images of the galaxy that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star, po the star power you restored, is this one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a sh starship. Then perhaps we could pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Okie dokie. Yes. Uh, I remember the Wii, dude. I fucking remember the Wii. Uh, the games I had for the Wii were Mario Galaxy, obviously. And that's basically it, I think. But yeah, that's practically... Oops, I did not mean to do that. That's, uh, that's practically all we're gonna do for this episode, since uh, I don't want to spend too much time. This is just like a revisit of these games, you know, remembering the good old days. Uh, look at that, you got a garage there too. That's where Luigi appears from time to time, I believe. <laughs> I think that's where Luigi is. Huh. Anyways, we're, we're out of time, basically. Thank you all so much for watching and joining me on an adventure to revisiting these games with me. It is... So freaking fun to revisit these games. It's so nostalgic too. 
Like, I remember so much about this game. Uh, the memories I had. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure, whatever that may be. Bye-bye!